action now. Let's talk about it. With temperatures dropping, it's time to think about investing in a winter coat. And with yes. so many styles to choose, it can be a little bit overwhelming. So that's why yes. we're bringing in yes. Natalie Sexton with all yes. the details. So yes. Natalie, what are, what, are we, what are we starting with? Well, well, a great coat is a winter staple, right? So I've chosen sort of four of my top top styles, top trends that will work for every woman on any budget. Okay. Um, so we're going to start off actually with plaid and houndstooth, which is a really big uh, trend that we're seeing for the fall and winter season. So I actually have used myself as well in the mix this week to kind of show how easy it is to, to do this look. Um, so with a plaid coat uh, or houndstooth, it's great for a woman who, who has a neutral wardrobe. So if you have a lot of you know black, gray creams and that kind of uh, stuff in your wardrobe, a plaid or houndstooth coat is a really fun piece to kind of add a little a little something special, right? So you can wear this to work and on the weekends as well. It'll look just as great with your, your dressy pieces as it will with your jeans and boots on the weekend. Um, okay, so next we're gonna go to uh, a camel coat, which I love. I think this is a really feminine, um, chic coat. And it's nice instead of, you know, your basic black pea coat, and it's a lot easier to keep clean than a white coat, right? So uh, yes, definitely. So you can wear this. This will be the coat that you'll be, you know, grabbing out of your closet again and again, because this will work for, you know, for the office, for running errands, and for the weekends as well. So uh, next, we're gonna go to a dress coat. So. I love a dress coat. I think it's a really a beautiful piece to have in your wardrobe. You'll wear this for special occasions or even just for an evening out. I always like this in a, in a bright color and with special details like gold buttons or a fur collar or a little bit of embellishment. And what I actually did with mine was I added a belt that I already have in my closet. So you can do that as well. Just kind of add-ons and, and personalize the look. So. Uh, this is definitely a must have for every lady. And then I also did a puffer coat. So with our cold winters, right, mm -hmm. this is a total must have. So with a puffer coat, you just have to be kind of careful uh, because you can get kind of lost in them. So you want to think about proportions when you're buying one of these. And a longer style, maybe opt for a belted one or try your own belt over top of it. It also can look really cute mixed with dressier pieces. It's kind of unexpected and fun. So you don't have to look like a big marshmallow in these kind of coats. And sometimes, you know, just one of those jackets is a must it's just too cold and you can't go with the, well, that's the fancy jacket that's right so but you can still be stylish in fashion forward but going for like a bright color like I've got on in the coral so um, last we've actually got we haven't forgot about the guys so uh, we're looking at sort of three different styles here the classic black pea coat um, every every man should have and I would suggest to when you're buying your coat um, bring a blazer if you wear a suit to work on a regular basis it's always good to try the coat on with a blazer underneath to make sure that it fits well and always you know button up your coat move around in it and see that it's comfortable again with the down coat like we're seeing on Joe Jonas it's a must-have for men as well I always like it uh, for men in more of a classic like a black or a navy and then plaid is right on trend for men as well I, I would say go for Probably neutrals or like Ryan Gosling has, you know, that that red and black check. It'll go with everything that you've got in your closet, and you're and you're still a little bit fashion forward too. Well, that is just excellent, and I think one yes. of the best things about all this is that all the coats that you were wearing were under a hundred dollars. Under a hundred dollars, yes. So if you go to my blog, if you go to sextoninthecity.ca, you'll see the whole post, and I've got everything listed on there: prices, a coupon code, oh. and uh, where Makes to get it so them. easy now, for us. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, so yes. next week it is leading right up to Halloween. That's right. And it can be such a pain for kids and adults to get some of that face paint That's off. Right. So I know that That's you right. have some well, like advice. Like we've seen tonight with the zombie makeup and yeah. all that oh, kind I of can't stuff, imagine right? Yeah, that exactly. Off. Well, so we're going to talk about skincare next week and I'm going to have some great tips um, for adults and, and for children, like you say, with removing makeup. And I'll be talking about products that you already have at home as well that you'll be able to use to do that and other treatments too. Sounds yes. fabulous. Yes. All right. Thank you, Natalie. Thanks, as Kate. always, we'll take Thank a you. short break.